In this video, we'll look at some helpful settings to know when working with the physics engine in Corona SDK. Since not all projects will require the use of physics, Corona SDK does not automatically include the physics library in your projects. To work with the physics engine, you must first require the physics library before attempting to use the API. Once the physics library has been added to your project, you must start the engine to gain access to the various parts of the API. The following functions start, pause, and stop the physics simulation. Physics.start either initiates or resumes the simulation if it's paused. Physics.pause pauses a physics simulation and should be used when you want the ability to continue accessing your physics world at some point in the future. Physics.stop is treated as a request to destroy the physics world. If you merely want to pause the physics engine, use physics.pause. The physics engine also features several global simulation options. These can be used to fine-tune your physics simulation beyond the default behavior. For a full list of simulation options, check the physics setup guide located on the Corona Labs website. Physics.setGravity sets the X and Y components of the global gravity vector. The default settings are meant to simulate standard Earth gravity pointing downward on the Y axis. It's important to note that gravity applied on the X axis will make objects move left or right depending on the X value applied. The Physics API also provides several useful options for visualizing physics interactions. Physics.setDrawMode sets one of three possible rendering modes for the physics engine. These can be very useful for visualizing complex interactions. Normal is the default with no collision outlines. Hybrid overlays collision outlines on normal display objects. Debug shows collision engine outlines only. While these features will run on devices, it's most useful in the Corona simulator when debugging unexpected physics engine behavior. For more simulation options, check the physics setup guide located on the Corona Labs website. And that's a look at some helpful settings to know when working with the physics engine in Corona SDK. Learn more about working with Corona SDK at coronalabs.com university.